we can do if we sit deeper on the chair fully fully deeper put the tennis balls under your hamstrings and try to relax completely relax let them break down those ten it hurts because it hurts if you have very tight hamstring that you cannot bend forward let's say well now couple of things guys if it hurts just sit there and breathe through it but if you can we are uh, uh, look here under, under your hamstring <laughs> under your hamstring not under the buttocks here under the hamstrings so this is optional the leg movement is optional if it's very painful and you barely find a way to stand them just stay and breathe now maybe this way and all this time the tennis ball uh, balls are under the hamstrings and again if you have them tight usually you will feel more unpleasant let's say so in this case don't move just just sit now maybe if it's doable circle can happen too right it doesn't have to be big circle then uh, go other way around yes like circles i feel more like oh it's it's uh if i put them here we, we're going to move person. there and here is better. Yeah, so we begin on the middle of your hamstring, right there. But then see if it uh, if it's possible for you, because not everyone feels all right. Although these chairs are quite soft, yeah. but please see uh, you need to feel okay breathing normally in uh, in the in the work. So right under the buns. So look here, I will show. So right here it will go, mm -hmm. or below, should, I should say, not under, below, below the, over whatever the correct way to say, but you're still not, they're still not fully back. They are exactly where the buttock connects to the hamstring. Make you higher. <laughs> right? Makes us taller. Now see if, what, what is making you work more? Maybe rocking? If that's uh, you know bearable sensation and you can breathe through it, that's the ma main most important thing. Or moving the legs again. So this you can vary, you can play, you can feel where uh, which movement activates more. Or what Laura is doing, rocking. My goodness, it's actually painful, uh, but it's a good pain in my case. Uh, <laughs> You need to make sure you can breathe through that sensation. If your exhalation happens, uh, you know, fluid without uh, uh, pushing it too much, you're safe. But if, you're, uh, if your breathing is, you know, cutting, uh, you are not, I mean, you're safe, but you don't want to hurt yourself, definitely. Now, we're going to take the balls and now put them under your buns, but not under the bones. So I will turn sideways just so you guys can see, so you don't have to turn. You put the ball more towards the back, so you don't put the bone on it, but actually the flesh, the, the soft part, okay? So with this in mind, mm -hmm. just go ahead, you found it. Your seat bones are right in front of the tennis balls right now, right? You feel that? Mm -hmm. And uh, a rock here. It's funny. <laughs> But it's a great massage. And my chair. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Very good. You feel that? Now imagine doing this. Let's take it out. Imagine doing this on the floor. Because we used to do it uh, in my other group on the yoga mat. That was not fun. <laughs> but uh, on the chair is definitely more mild. How about taking, uh, putting maybe one at a time or both if you're comfortable, behind your knees. And kind of move your legs, squeeze them a little bit here, put your feet on the toes, more to the back, and add some movement, maybe one at a time. Again, I'm gonna turn sideways just so it's visible, you don't have to. The balls are right behind your knee in that little groove, let's say, that we sometimes massage, and this is the way to massage there without using your hands, just, just by using your 
tennis balls, okay? Now, keeping the balls right there, first of all, any pain in your knee, especially when you hold the ball there? How about you? No? I have Baker cysts on the back of my... Okay, so if you feel all right, couple of choices. You can do circle with one leg at a time, or if it's doable, you feel all right, you can hover your feet and do one leg at a time, mm -hmm. or do both legs. Just find a way that works for you, and um, in any case, you use your abdomen, so then the back doesn't suffer. So if you did one leg, now switch to another, or if you did two legs, switch the direction. There we go. <laughs> and then we put our feet down, remove the tennis balls, again, give yourself a little massage. Now we did on top, let's do like on, this, on the inner side of the legs a little bit. Now, actually you can roll the balls or you can gently tap with the balls. Yeah. It's a, uh, it, yeah, whatever feels better to you, go ahead and explore. So this is exploration space for us, right? Uh, try something new for yourself. And then maybe we will bring our knees in and the feet out and either rolling or tapping on the sides of your hips. Now the sides, the outer sides are quite strong muscles. Sorry. No problem. So we can tap maybe a bit stronger. You just make sure you don't bruise yourself because, okay. Okay guys. That's good. Now, 